This is the grading spectrometer. If correctly used, it will allow us to take extremely accurate measurement of light spectra. In order to get good results, we must set up the spectrometer correctly. There are three main sections to the spectrometer. They are the telescope, the collimator, and the grading. The collimator is the apparatus through which light enters. The light is then separated into different wavelengths by the grading. The resulting spectrum is viewed through the telescope. The first step in using your spectrometer is to position the telescope. Locate the telescope lock at the base of the telescope and turn it gently. The telescope should now be free to move. Position it opposite the collimator with the grading table in between. Now you are ready to focus the telescope. This is a two-step process. Begin by adjusting the eyepiece. Grip the end of the telescope and pull gently. The eyepiece should slide in and out freely. Looking into the telescope, move the eyepiece until you see a set of crosshairs. Once the crosshairs are clearly visible, rotate your telescope so that it is pointed at a distant object. The farther away the object, the better your results will be. An object in a far corner of the room will suffice. In this demonstration, I am using a red blender. As you look at your target, adjust the focusing knob on the side of your telescope. When you have adjusted the telescope, you will be able to see the object you are focusing on. In my case, it is the red blender. As we zoom in on it, you get an image of part of the blender in the crosshairs. Now we turn our attention to the collimator. The collimator is the tube through which light enters and is focused. We will place a sodium light source in front of the collimator in order to do the next step. On the end of the collimator is an adjustable slit. You will be asked to adjust the slit width several times during the experiment setup. You do this by turning the knob on the side. The adjustment varies for different models. The goal of this adjustment is to get a thin sliver of light into the collimator. You want it to be thin as possible without becoming too faint to see. Once you have adjusted the slit width, you will focus the beam using a knob similar to the one on your telescope. The position of the knob may vary by model. Turn the knob while looking through the telescope. If your telescope is positioned opposite the collimator, you should be able to see the slit as a bright line. Finally, we will test the alignment of the grading table. Start by positioning your telescope in such a way that the bright line is behind the vertical line of the crosshairs. Once you have the line behind the crosshairs, lock the position of the telescope. Small position adjustments may be made using the telescope lock adjustment. Now that your telescope is positioned in the correct spot, we can begin the process of checking alignment. First, we need to find out the angle that corresponds to the central bright line that is now in the crosshairs. In order to do this, we must read the vernier scale near the grading table. Start by locating the zero on the top of the scale. There is a line directly under it. The bottom of the scale also has numbers. See which number best aligns with the zero. In our example, it is 74. Notice that next to the 74 line is a shorter line. This line represents 74 and a half. Now find which of the top lines is most closely aligned with a bottom line. In our example, it appears to be the number 22 line on the top. Our final measurement is the original 74 plus 22 sixtieths. We add 22 sixtieths because the number 22 line was best aligned. Our measurement can also be stated as 74 degrees and 22 minutes. Record this number as your center angle in the spreadsheet provided. Now turn the telescope to the left. Do not forget to unlock it first. Look through the telescope. You should be able to see two bright lines. Choose either the first or second line to measure. Record which you choose. Measure its angle using the vernier scale and record it as your left angle. Now move the telescope to the right. Measure and record your right angle. 
A spreadsheet will assist you in checking whether the two angles are symmetric about the center angle. If they are not, you may have to adjust the alignment of your grading table. If your table is badly misaligned, begin by loosening the grading table screw. Then turn the table slightly so that the grading is perpendicular to the light leaving the collimator. Then repeat the three angle measurements and check if the alignment has improved. You can make small adjustments with the fine adjustment knob. You may have to repeat this step several times. Notice that the same spreadsheet will also calibrate the grading for you. Refer the write-up for more information on this. Once your table is aligned, you may want to tilt the grading slightly. This is only needed when your spectral line appears too high or too low. At this point, you are ready to look at a light source and analyze its spectrum. As you change the angle of the telescope, you should be able to see different spectral lines characteristic of the light source. As mentioned earlier, there are several models of the spectrometer. You have already seen the one on the left. The one on the right has the same basic features, but some of the adjustment knobs are in different places. The telescope lock is underneath the telescope and should be labeled. This is what will allow you to immobilize the telescope while you are taking measurements. You will have to unlock the telescope before you begin using it. Before you can begin using the telescope, you must adjust the eyepiece. The eyepiece can be moved in and out to bring the crosshairs into focus. The orientation of the crosshairs can be adjusted by gripping the end of the eyepiece and turning it. The telescope can then be aimed at a distant object and brought into focus by turning the silver ring at the base of the eyepiece. Like the other model, the spectrometer also has a collimator with a slit at the end. The slit can be adjusted by turning the end of the collimator. The collimator then needs to be focused by gently pulling on the end. Watch the bright line through the telescope as you change the collimator's focus. When you are satisfied that the line is sharp, read the angle from the vernier scale. Check the alignment of the grading table. If needed, loosen the grading table lock and turn the table. Then check the alignment again. Adjust the tilt of the grading if you need to. Now you are ready to use the grading spectrometer.